Hey guys, Wells Knight here, bringing you another brand new episode of Minecraft Unabridged from the Primus server. And I have been, whoa, whoa, frame rates, what was that? Holy cow. Um, I have been very busy between episodes. Um, I have dabbled a little bit in Thomcraft, not a whole lot, just enough to get Thaumium and uh, the Enchanted Fabric. My frames here are terrible. I wonder if it's something going on at the village. Uh, anyway, so I've got a whole bunch of Thomcraft stuff done. Uh, if you look very closely in my hotbar, you'll see I have a shiny new crossbow and bolts, and I have fluxed-infused armor now. Um, I know that sounds like a lot of stuff, but it really wasn't. It was just a lot of grindy crafting. So, for the flux-infused armor, um, you need a whole bunch of these. You need a total of 24, 24 of these. Uh, and those are just made up of fluxed electrum ingots, which is just electrum redstone and pyrothium dust, and then flux crystals, which are just diamonds, that you have stuck into a fluid transposer with some destabilized redstone. So not too difficult to make. Uh, it just takes a lot of resources, but it's not any, none of the resources you need for it are super hard to get. So I've got a full set of that now, and that gives me some really nice protection. I've got this amazing new crossbow. For bolts, I'm using um, manulin tipped with endurium and then a slime leaf uh, fletching. And for the crossbow, it's a signalum bar and thaumium everything else, except for the string, which is just a standard bowstring. Um, the reason that I did that is today we're doing botania. And I was really hoping that if I went and if I raided enough roguelike dungeons, I'd be able to find myself a black lotus. Because what the Black Lotus does is it completely and totally fills your mana pool, which is amazing. Unfortunately, I was not able to find one. I must have raided three roguelike dungeons. <laughs> Just going through, trying to stay alive, and trying to get some loot. Uh, and I did not find anything. No Black Lotus. I did find uh, some cool stuff, though. I'll, we'll just take a look real quick. I found a whole bunch of broken spawners. Um, I found, let's see, a couple necrotic bones, which is a good, uh, a good modifier for your tinker stuff. Um, I found three ender, the, three the enders, three, three enders, three enders, the, three of these things. I found three of those. And I found this Zestonian battle sign, which is sharpness one, knockback two, and fire aspect one. And that's pretty much it. Um, did a lot of mining, did a lot of that kind of stuff, boring, grindy stuff. But I think I have probably just kind of babbled for long enough. Let's go ahead and dive into some Botania. So the first thing that we're going to need for Botania is our Lexica Botania. I'm probably not going to need this cobalt hammer. And I don't think I'm going to need my amazing crossbow while I'm here. I might need a shovel at some point, though. So let's just keep that out. So first thing we'll probably want to do if we go through the book. Well, I already know what it's going to tell me. We want to make ourselves a petal apothecary, which is this thing right here. And for that, we're going to need a little bit of cobblestone. And I'm actually going to need a crafting table, which... No, I must have a craft... Okay, I was going to say, I've got to have a crafting table on me somewhere. So, Petal Apothecary. It is slabs, like so. Cobblestone. Cobblestone, like so. And then a petal from a flower of your choice. I think I'm going to go with this one, because I've got a ton of them. And that will give us a... Oops. Oh, well, I have more of the short version. So this will give us our Petal Apothecary. Now, the Petal Apothecary is best put right next to water. So I'm going to put it right here because hiding down here, I have a sneaky water source because I'm sneaky like that. Um, do, 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 do. We need a bucket. Beautiful. So we'll go ahead and actually, you know what? I saw this, it might have been Iskal. 
I was what I think I was watching one of Iskull's videos. Um, he's not a member of this server, but he's on uh, Kingdom Craft and does a lot of modded stuff. He he thinks it's best to have your pedal apothecary down here in the floor, like that, because it makes it easier to um, to throw things into it. And you know what? I think that's a brilliant idea. So that is exactly what we're gonna do. Now we need to start working on some mana and stuff and things. So the first thing that I'm probably gonna want is, uh, I believe it's called a pure daisy. There we go. And we make that with three, or I'm sorry, four white petals into a petal apothecary. You know what? I did forget one very important thing though. I need seeds and I need a lot of seeds. Because that is, uh, seeds essentially act as your, like your catalyst, your, your thing that actually makes recipes work. So, luckily for me, I have this lovely wheat farm right here, which I'll just harvest up real quick. Much faster, since I've got this amazing magnet that makes it things, uh, fly directly to me. There we go. And that's probably enough seeds for now. I'm gonna break my own rule and not replant. Uh, shame on me. Oh well. And let's head over this way. Um, oh yeah, I also finished up the, uh, the greenhouse. What do you guys think? I like it quite a lot. I was going to put carpenter's blocks here. And then I realized that if I did that, these glass panes wouldn't connect to it. And I decided it was better to have the glass panes connect. But anyway, so white flowers. Do I have any white flowers? You know what? I might not. Ooh. Oh, no, lime. Really? I don't have a single mystical white flower. You're kidding me. Ah, uh, well. This could complicate things. Um, let me get this sorted out, guys, and I'll be right back with ya. Alright, guys, I am back. So I think what I'm gonna do... Uh, is I'm actually going to try and make more flowers rather than go out and find them. So we're going to make this floral fertilizer here. And the way that you do that is first you need to make a mortal, uh, a mortar, mortar, mor, mor, you need to make one of these things, a pestle and mortar. That is really difficult to say. Holy cats. Um, now. Normally, I believe the bowl recipe is this, but because that would interfere with something else, it has been changed a little bit, so it is slabs instead. But there we go, we got our mortar and pestle, and now we should be able to grind up some of these, oh, that's not it, there we go, should be able to grind some of this stuff up, just like you see there, and we'll do four, let's do uh, 12 of those, I think that'll do. And then we can go bone meal and like that, and that will give us three floral fertilizer, which we can then just spam down over here, and that will cause mystical flowers to grow. And there's one white one right there. And you'll notice that you get more flowers than you put in. So that is a good thing. Um, as If you're going this route, then you're pretty much in good shape. So I'm going to do this for a while until I've got enough of these flowers. And uh, then I'll be right back with you. All right, guys. I am back. And I finally have exactly what I need. Four mystical white flowers. I also have my seeds right here, and what we're going to do is we are going to create the pure daisy, which is this right here, and it is just four plain old white petals, and we're actually going to make two of those. Uh, bucket, fill up that, and we go one, two, three, four, and a seed, and there we have a pure daisy. One, two, three, four, and a seed, and now we've got two 
pure daisies, which is awesome. That is exactly what we need. We're going to put one here, and we're going to put one right there. Now, we are going to need to get ourselves some living wood. So what we're going to do is surround the daisy just like this with this wood, and it's got to be logs. And in a minute, those are going to go ahead and convert into a special material called living wood. Uh, and that is going to be pretty much essential for just about anything that you'd want to do in Botania. I'm also going to need to go and get myself some smooth stone. And we'll come on down here. Oh, by the way, I almost forgot to mention, I have been compressing uh, cobblestone and turning it into super compressed cobblestone because I, I, I really want to get bedrock uh, or bedrockium. I want to get bedrockium, and I want to get bedrockium quite badly. So we're going to start smelting up a little bit of that, just in case. Real quick, let's compress this. I'm using a cyclic assembler to do that. Um, but, let's see. Uh, this is already double. No, no, no. This is double. There we go. And... Again, and let's just put that stuff away. Tell you what, guys, I'm going to do this off camera, and uh, I'll come back to you as soon as I'm ready to get back into some Botania. All right, guys, I am back, and as you can see, this has turned into living wood. And we'll just use an axe and break that up. And this is going to be used for all sorts of really important stuff. Uh, throughout Botania. This is basically going to be your first step for just about anything that you might do. So we're going to do another batch of living wood as well. We're also going to need some living stone here fairly shortly too. Uh, and that is going to be used to make mana. While we're waiting on that to change though, I want to go ahead and make another flower. Uh, this one is called the, the endo flame right here, this texture, uh, there we go. So this is the endo flame. It looks a little bit different than I remember it. Ooh, just kidding. I guess we can't make that yet. Oh, actually, mm -hmm. yeah, yeah, we probably could, but we're going to have to be sneaky about it. Um, and I also need a light gray flower. There we go. So we'll do that. Mystical, mystical. Now, if you look very closely, you'll notice that this petal is not the same as this petal. Okay? This one right here is the red mana petal, which means it's been dipped in a mana pool. This is just a mystical red petal, which is just the normal one you get, uh, like I have right now. So we're going to need to go and dip one of each of these petals in a mana pool. I'm not sure whose Botania stuff this is, but the amount of mana required to dip a petal is pretty insignificant. So I'm just going to go ahead and dip one of each of those because that'll just make this go a lot faster. The alternative would be to go into Day Blooms and Nightshades, uh, which are kind of passive flowers, but they fizzle out after a little while. And this will basically just let us skip that step, which is much appreciated in this case. So, we're going to throw a light gray, a red mana, and a brown mana petal in. And then we're going to grab a seed and go BAM! There we go. We have an endo flame. Uh, and this converted again while I wasn't around. That's alright. This should be enough living wood to at least get us started here. Um, and But we'll keep these kind of pumping out living wood and stone as we go along. So, there we go. And we're just going to put our endo flame right here for now. That's fine. Um, and then we'll grab some stone. And let's get this changing into, you guessed it, living rock. Or living stone, same thing. I call it living rock. Uh, which is its official name. But, oop, here we go. We'll just put that stuff away. 
Now, in order for you to do some stuff with this particular mod, you need a wand. And a wand is made with living wood twigs and then two flower petals. So, we're going to need, what was it, four, three of them? Three of these, so one, two, three. There we go. And I happen to have two extra flower petals just lying around. So, we will make a really ugly wand and just go and make it gray. It's not pretty, but it will work. The other thing we're going to need is a mana spreader. Oh, and I need a gold ingot for that. I almost forgot. All right, guys, let me go get some preparations done, and I'll be back in a moment. All right, guys, I am back. And we've got our living rock here that has changed from the old stone. So we're going to grab that up because this is going to be the next thing that we're going to need. Ta-da! And I've also got my gold to make a mana spreader. So let's grab... I got a bunch of purple flowers. Let's use these. And let's make ourselves a mana spreader. No? Mana spreader? I derped it up. There we go. Mana spreader. Okay. And we're just going to put that right here. And face it this way. Then... Uh, actually, let's go ahead and make some more living stone, because I'm going to need it for all sorts of stuff. I'm hoping to be down here when it transforms. It doesn't take very long. It only takes about a minute, but I keep getting distracted and sent off into other places. So anyway, we've got our mana spreader here. We're going to need to make a mana pool. Now, this is just a diluted mana pool. It's kind of like the, uh, the starter mana pool, if you will. And we're just going to put it right there for now. Now, if we take our wand, you can see that this is aimed at the mana pool. It's not actually generating mana, though. So we right-click and then right-click again, and that will connect it. Then we need this to go and be connected to this. Now, the Sendo Flame is not generating anything at the moment, but if we feed it a, a, uh, a burnable material, such as a block of coal... Um, uh, such as a block of coal. What? Why is this not working? Block of coal. Um, okay. Let's try feeding it just a piece of coal. Do I have the wrong flower? Hold on. Um... Mystical flowers. No, that's not what we need. We need... Um... Runic altar, black lotus, flower pouch. I'm trying to figure out why this is not working. Um... Generating flora. Here we go. Endoflame. Absorb any combustible items or blocks dropped in the nearby vicinity. Why are you not working? Um. This is not making sense to me. Let's try moving it, maybe? Let's put it there. Let's maybe put our mana pool over here instead. And then let's put our mana spreader here. Maybe it needs some space or something? That... Doesn't really make sense. What in the world? I'm not sure why this is... Not generating mana. Oh, there we go. It wasn't connected to the mana spreader. Okay, so shift right click. Aha! Okay, so now you can see we've got some mana in here. And this is good. This is also done, and we're going to grab a little bit more of this living stone and make a second mana pool, because this one can only hold a relatively small amount of mana, and then on top of that, um, it also can't be used for all of the things that you need it to be used for. So if we take this mana pool and toss it in there, we now have a diluted mana pool. 
And now we can start putting our mana in the main one, and this will start generating all sorts of good stuff. Now, this Endoflame is really easy to automate, just requires some super basic redstone, like redstone that's easy enough that even I can do it. Um, or there's a few other ways to do it too, but I'm not going to worry about that right now. Um, in fact, I think we are pretty much out of time for this episode. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to probably get this mana pool built up a little bit between episodes. I'm going to build up my other supplies, such as my living rock and living stone. I'm going to get more of that stuff going. Uh, and that's pretty much it. Oh, thank you for sleeping and making a day. But I think that's going to do it. As I said, guys, if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, subscribe, and leave me a comment. I do appreciate it, and it really helps out my channel. You can also find me on Facebook, Twitter, and Twitch. There are links in the video description below, so check that out as well. Other than that, guys, thanks for watching, and I'll definitely see you next time.